Oh, sh- I, I didn't see you there. Um, cut, cut. What's up, guys? My name is Shadow, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Welch's wine. It's a little simpler than you might think, but before I start, let me make some things clear. This video is not for people that are under 21. This is for people that are allowed to drink alcohol legally. So, no children allowed. I also want to say that you should drink responsibly and never drink and drive. And with that, let's just go ahead and get into it. You will need sugar. You will need grape juice. You will need yeast. There is, um, what's it called? Wine yeast that they make. But this is regular baking yeast. You can use either or. Um... You need a cup, you'll see what that's for in just a second, and you'll need some measuring cups. I don't know why I bought brand new measuring cups since I already had some, but you never know when you need an extra, I guess. Here we go! You're gonna start by opening up your grape juice, and you wanna dump some out. That was delicious. I forgot a fucking funnel. Next step, you get a funnel. Okay, so never mind. It turns out I don't have a funnel. So don't be like Shadow. Get a funnel before you start. I have funnels, but I have since used them for oil and cars and stuff. And you don't want oil in your wine. So I'm going to sit here and make a funnel. Oh, it squirted me. It squirted everywhere. That's what she said. Oh, God, it's getting worse. Oh, God, no, no, no. <laughs> How to make a funnel 101 with Shadow. This is why you should buy a funnel. Don't be like Shadow. It's not good things that happen. And now that we have a funnel, we're going to take the lid off of our funnel. Yeet. And you're going to stick that in there. You're going to take the lid off this. You're going to go yeet. And you're going to pick up your measuring cups. So for the sugar, you are going to want about two cups in here. That's a big ass measuring cup. Yeet. This doesn't have to be perfect or exact. Oh god, I'm making a mess. <laughs> the things that have happened at this desk, I swear. Alright, one more cup of sugar. A little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Close enough. Dump that shit right up in there. Alright. I made a mess. I have sugar all over everything. Might as well throw it on the floor at this point. Then you're gonna take your funnel out. You're gonna shake all the sugar you have off of you. And then what you wanna do next is you want to pick this up and you want to shake it really good until all the sugar is dissolved. You want to shake it as good and hard as you can. Almost like you're jacking off an elephant or something. Ah. Yeah, shake the shit out of it. It can't hurt to over shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Ugh. 
It should be good enough. All right, now you're ready for your yeast. Like I said before, this is baking yeast. You can use either or. There's wine yeast and baking yeast. And you want about a tablespoon of yeast in here. Yeet. Or teaspoon, I think. Yeah, you want a teaspoon in here. So you're just gonna dump you some yeast in this little teaspoon of bobber. And you just dump it in. You can let it set on top. You don't have to mix it in. And you want to take your lid. And this is very important. Whenever you put your lid on, do not tighten it. Tighten it just enough for it to catch a groove. You want it tight enough so bugs can't get in, but not so tight that air can escape. Why am I so out of breath? And now we are pretty much done with the grape juice. You want to let that set for about 21 days to one month before you consume this. It will take that long for it to ferment and make alcohol. And I highly recommend you leave it in a cooler or something or somewhere where it's okay if this spills because it is possible for this to bubble up and do some weird things. And that's it. So I'm just gonna put that down here for now. And I'm gonna pull this out just to show you guys how really easy it is. Everybody thinks making alcohol is like a hard, complicated process or something, but it's really not. Yep. This also works for white grape juice as well, as you can see. This also works for different size containers. Your imagination is the limit while you're doing this. Remember that. God, I'm getting sugar everywhere. The ants are going to love me this summer. <laughs> Alright, that's about two and a half cups. I know it was more scoops than two and a half, but I didn't get full scoops each time. Alright, then onto the yeast. I have sugar all over me. Maybe Shadow shouldn't do tutorials. It's not looking too good. Um, I need a knife. Yeah, there's a knife. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that went everywhere, but not rocket science, not rocket science. It's all okay, just happy accidents. Oh god, it's all on my keyboard. <laughs> not again. I'm gonna just dump this whole packet in there. And I'm gonna dump the other half of my keyboard. Well, now I have yeast everywhere now, too. Um, might as well use that side. I didn't even shake up my sugar. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, this one will be interesting. Also, I don't know what's really gonna happen. I think it's still gonna work, just not quite as well. Cause I don't think I really want to mix that up now. Fuck it, why not? Let's see what happens. You just want to shake this really good. Almost like you're jacking off an even bigger elephant. Ah. This wine actually does taste good, guys. And it will get you good and drunk. I've tried it. Ain't as cheap as hell. This still needs to up a little. And I also want to note that this video is not sponsored by Welsh's Grape Company. Unless they see this video after it, after it airs and hits me up. Your move, Welch's. Maybe a tad bit more. Loosen my lid so bugs can't get in and air can escape. Done. Just like that, I made... That's two quarts right there, and this is a gallon, I think. So I made a gallon and a half of wine. And that's about all I got. So let me know if you guys want to see any more tutorials like this. I know this is kind of random. It gets really fun and exciting when you get into corn. Corn's really fun to play with. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Try this at home. It's really fun. It's something to do. It's a learning experience. And you can catch a buzz off of it. And on that note, that's about all I got, so I need to start cleaning up. So don't let the notification bell hit you on the way out.